I think before I start grinding this meat, one of the things I gotta do, I was reading through the instructions, is uh, grinding meat. If you're gonna grind some meat, the grinders work better if the meat is very, very cold. Uh, not completely frozen, but the meat's gotta be cold, 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 you know, be easier to grind up. Um, so what some people do, as I was reading the instructions, is they'll grind the meat, they'll, they'll take the meat out that's really cold, they'll grind it first uh, with the coarse grinder template, put it in a pan, put it back in the refrigerator, get it really cold again, and then grind it again, okay, with a, with, within the smaller one. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go take, I bought some uh, some ground chuck and I got some bacon and I'm gonna go put them in the freezer. Uh, I don't know, I'm guessing maybe 15 minutes. See what happens. Get that meat really cold. Okay. You know, JP, as always, gotta put some gloves on. Okay, anytime you're working with, with uh, meat, it's always good to be uh, fully prepared and have uh, the right, you know, protection, you could say, you know, because keep your hands off that dirty meat, mama used to say, or keep your dirty hands off that meat, something like that. All right, so we're going to be using Chuck Pot Rose Boneless, bought this at Publix, I'm going to grind it up, kind of semi-frozen, you know, it's what the instruction said, so I got two packets of this, and we're going to grind them up, I'm going to All right, let's see this bad boy in action. JP has made hamburger, okay? All right, try to get all this done. That work work out pretty good or what? Let me put this over in my uh, pan. I don't know if I'm gonna add that bacon. You know, just looking at this, look at that meat. It's got a lot of marbleization in it. So, you know, that, that's what you want with hamburger. You want all that fat because you know that fat is what makes the hamburger juicy. You get too lean of a meat, ain't gonna be good. We're gonna see how these come out. And I don't think I'm gonna add that bacon to it. I may just cook the bacon tomorrow. That way I can put some, some strips of bacon on top of it and uh, see what happens, okay? All right. Round, round one is done, okay? We're gonna put it back in the, re in the refrigerator, probably the freezer. Uh, that way the meat gets a little cool, cold and um, I may put some seasoning in it right now, and then I'm gonna change the dyes out and put this finer one and try to get this just a little bit uh, smaller grind on it, okay?
Trying to get that last little bit out of it. All right, well, that's it. Let me show you guys what this uh, ground beef looks like now. Okay, or ground chuck, I should say. All right. Uh, it don't get any fresher than that, guys. All right. Um, I guess I could have killed the cow myself, but, you know, that's pretty pretty fresh, pretty good. Okay, tomorrow uh, I'm going to get this meat seasoned up, and I'm going to make some hamburger patties. And tomorrow we're going to have us uh, some... Uh, some nice smoked hickory uh, hamburgers see how they come out okay but besides that hope you guys like this video uh, this is my video of my my uh, new product that I got you know the lamb um, meat grinder and uh, it does what it's supposed to do it grinds meat okay but besides that uh, hope you guys like this like my channel if you like what I'm doing uh, do me a favor hit that subscribe button and also, uh, you know, please feel free to share this video with your friends. And, uh, and as always, okay, I appreciate you guys very much. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.